just to clear your energy and space Pisces just saw 55 this is called dragon's blood incense this is um, what I feel with this incense here I also have the spray I've been using um, a lot of uh, incense for a long time especially sage also or palisanto which are amazing but the best one is the dragon's blood it will protect you against everything or anything coming at you it will also unblock and shift things around for you and it's also good for clearing always remember to keep a bit of your window open when that takes place hold on a second i just have to fix my camera okay all right um so that's what i have now for those of you that are wearing earphones please remove them for a bit or for a second this is for the root chakra So Pisces, welcome to your reading. Now, since I was late with uh, your last week's reading, I'm going to incorporate last week's and this week's reading into your reading. So your reading is from April 17th to April 30th. And it's also timeless. It's a timeless tarot, meaning that whenever you get to see it, some people get to see it the year after and it still resonates with them. Okay, so uh, take what's yours in the reading and let the rest go. Feel free to also swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. And uh, if the reading doesn't resonate, look at your other placements. Cuspers and cross watchers are welcome to the reading. So let's do your reading, Pisces. I hope that you're all doing well, my baby sharks. Let's see what your challenge is. Your challenge is isolation and lonely. Some of you might be feeling this like uh, like this at this time. Okay, so there is a tendency to push people away by isolating yourself from uncomfortable situations. Maybe some of you are doing that. Look into new ways to break down the walls to create better ways to connect with others. Don't let your light. Don't keep your light to yourself, Pisces. Open up to share it. And underneath you have past life karma and cycles. This indicates a past life is the reason why the intense energy surrounds you, the person or situation. Look into ways to clear past life karma and see the bigger picture of the situation by viewing it from a lesson perspective. Taking ownership for your part and forgiveness are key in releasing past life karma. Now we're going to look at the resolve. Your last but not least but this week you're going to be first. <laughs> so I'm sure you're going to be happy with that.
this one more card, please. <clears throat> For Pisces. I wanted to jump out. Oh, there we go. All right. You got Passion United. And this is Desire. So this is like the Ace of Wands in Tarot cards, okay? And there's a Rose energy here, okay? The Sacral energy I feel a lot. Live with passion by stepping into what feeds your soul and gives you joy when you choose to make room for this in your life the universe responds by creating opportunities and support your soul purpose and passion right desire and underneath you have radiant goddess or god acceptance you are an amazing goddess or god ready to fully understand how significant you are tap into your power by owning your beauty and potential by not making any apologies for that now we're going to look into your crystal. Oops, this is these are not yours. <laughs> I forgot to take them out from the other reading. <laughs> um, Crystal do Pisces mean? Amber, number three. So we'll take a look at this. I will read you to some of the passages, or I'll actually read all the passage from it because there's really important information in this book that's really beautiful, right? So, um, I will read it to you. Amber is a crystal. Essential meaning is healing family patterns, releasing karma, persevering the wisdom gained by the lessons of the past. The families we come into as infants are, and the ones we grow up in offer us experiences that yield gifts, lessons about love, about resilience and forgiveness, and about our own power to leave behind old ways and embrace the new. Our current families do this too. By exploring, our, by exploring our relationships with family members, we can discover our own strength and wisdom. Amber Spirit is here with a message to reconnect with the wounded story you still recount, one that is a legacy of your family. Can you heal the story and instead tell one from the perspective of love? How beautiful it is to ultimately change the experience of family this way you may receive and give love within a family as defined by the heart and the magic of the conscious universe who sends people your way to make sure you have the caring and affection you need and deserve friends can be new family reflect today on the love you have created for yourself and how precious you are a gem like no other reflect on the family surroundings surrounding you the guides and manifestation of the conscious universe here to support and send you love, love, and then some more love. Look to those who choose to offer you this gift for they are your human and animal family. Draw strength from knowing that love shows up always to bring you what was missing in your own family in the past. This balm is available for you to heal the family wound that is that has hurt for too long. Now the next message is about relationship. It could be any type of relationships here. In romantic relationships, okay, so this is about romantic relationships. We also have a choice to stay or to go, to learn or to grow, or to move on to a new partnership. If you want to have a different story relationship the next time around, Amber Spirit's message to you is to clear, explore your family relationship, your family relationships. The nuggets of wisdom you mine will help you avoid repeating the pain, the pain of the past in your partnerships today and in the future. Find these hidden gifts of wisdom and strength so that you may enjoy the loving relationship you deserve. This is about prosperity message. The lessons we learn about security and prosperity in our families of origin are brought into our lives as adults. Do you know what those lessons were for you? What messages about money and finance about, uh, finances about saving and investing and spending and sharing were you given? Amber Spirit appears with an invitation to explore those lessons and messages in order to move forward consciously on the path of prosperity, unencumbered by old habits related to finance. These were perpetu per perpetuated by you because, well, you never thought to question them. To enjoy prosperity, explore what your family taught you about abundance and make conscious choices about whether to keep 
alter or replace the lessons you learned. The conscious universe wants you to be prosperous, prosperous and will support you in making changes and in creating and sustaining wealth. And the crystal spirit meditation is amber is not a true crystal, but fuzzled tree sap. Just as the risen is solidified, so too are patterns sometimes passed down by family. Meditation with amber spirit is excellent to help explore these patterns and shed light on those that no longer serve us. Okay, so amber is your crystal. Now let's look at the numerology. Okay. Yeah, you guys want half the pack. It's not happening. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Three shuffles. Okay. Wow. First card, that was just the first. Sorry. Mercury is almost retrograde. So, yeah, well, when I'm doing this reading, it is. It's very close. It's in, post, it's in the shadow period now, but you got 10 10. And your affirmation is I am patient, I am patient, I am patient. And so it is. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. So you got 10, 10. Then you got 77. I am brave, I am brave, I am brave, and so it is. It is a time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. Then you got 999. I am unique, I am unique, I am unique, and so it is. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Nice. like those cards. Uh, let's take a card from also Monology. Two shuffles. Underneath, you got the uh, first quarter moon and Scorpio. Release your blocks. And the new moon in Leo. Shine, Pisces. It's your turn to shine. Okay, look at all the sunflowers. It's so beautiful. Shine. Okay, that's your card. And now let's get into the reading. Mm -hmm. I want to see which cards I'm going to use for you. Okay, we'll do these for now. Okay. Oh yes, I did forget. Before I forget. I'm gonna take a few cards from the Lover's Oracle for you. Usually I take two cards out, so just one more card. These are really hard to shuffle. Okay. So let's look at them together. First card out you got is this one here, and it talks about freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And this one here is only time will tell. Only time will tell. All right. Okay, <clears throat> let's start doing your reading. So, Pisces, this reading is the Celtic Cross in uh, my way. 
So, well, because I'm not doing, I'm doing it short version, okay? So what it is, is uh, you're going to look at the situation, what's crossing you, the root, the recent past, what you're working towards, the immediate future, how you're feeling about the situation, what's hidden from you in your environment, or, and uh, the advice. And then we will clarify the cards. Three more shuffles. I don't know if I did three. Anyway, I lost count. <laughs> okay, Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? My baby sharks. Queen of Pentacles. You're, you're nurturing yourself at this time. You're very you're feeling very practical. There's luxury around you and prosperity. You're feeling stable. There is stability here. What's crossing you is the three of wands. It's about your manifestations. It's about maybe some of you this could be part of your creativity or uh, work or passion that you're doing. But this is about uh, expansion, growth. Um, it could be about uh, foresight. Uh, it's also about, you know, you're your manifestations being here. The success and victory here. Um, in the root, you have the king of cups and energy. Balance, someone that's compassionate, uh, controlling, and diplomatic. They're bringing in change, or this is you. In the recent past till now, you have the five of wands reversed. So there was maybe some type of conflict or drama or situation here. But when it's reversed, it shows me that there's compromise and there's relief from um, conf conflict and harmony and overcoming obstacles. And what you're working towards is the queen, uh, who, and who you're embodying is the queen of swords or what you're working towards. Yeah, if you're, you're thinking very, you're very independent here. There's maturity within you. Uh, you're very discerned, okay? And you have a lot of communication skills here as well. This could be someone else around you. It doesn't have to be, but it does bring in a lot of stability here. Yeah, I like this. In the immediate future, you have the page of wands. So something is coming in divine timing. There's balance here. Exploration, free spirit, excitement, fearless. Okay, you've been seeing the signs. There's good news. And how you're feeling is the king of pentacles. Wow, I got the king and queen of pentacles. I like that. Two kings. Now you could be embodying these kings. It doesn't mean if you thought you're female, it doesn't matter. Okay, but you have the queen and the king. Hmm nice okay there's security abundance material wealth here huh? change is coming positive and what you're not seeing in your environment is the nine of wands okay you've been testing you've been being, not testing you're being tested on your faith you've been resilient you had a lot of courage you're moving towards whatever you want and uh, you're gonna attain it and what is the advice temperance it's about finding uh, balance it's about patience. It's about moderation. So you're connecting with your guides. There's harmony here. There's alchemy. The communication is also very strong here. Sense of communication. It's a, I also feel very uh, something very spiritual here. A connection. This is very healing, Pisces. Very healing. There is change coming, definitely. And underneath you got the Queen of Cups. So you got the Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, that's amazing. You've got the Four of Wands, Judgment. Yeah, there's going to be some type of celebration. It could be someone that's returning home or returning or whatever. That doesn't have to. So type of proposal, community here. And there's home and peace and celebrations. The Judgment here talks about where it's about uh, renewal, decision-making, uh, a transformation that's taking place. You've been holding your own here. Yes, there will be unexpected change. But it's about taking your power back here. Okay, nice to see this. Now, let's look at the reading, right? Shall we? And see what else is going on here.
three more shuffles. I don't even feel like touching your reading, but I, I need, I, you know, <laughs> but I do want to clarify because maybe there's like, it's really amazing. I like that. You have a beautiful reading up to now, but we have to see what else is going on, okay? Let's look at this Queen of Cups. So this is someone that's compassionate, comforting, intuition. Um, someone that's stable. Let's look at the Queen of Pen uh, the Queen of Cups here yeah, in the overall. The Queen of Coins. The Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, wow. The Emperor. This could be any type of commitment or it could be any type of work. This could be that happening. In, it could be an Aries that you're dealing with. You have Aries in your chart. Whatever the case is, it's about planning ahead. It's about stability. It's about authority. It's about setting up new rules and taking action. I don't know what to tell you here, but you got the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles again, twice very strong in your reading, very nurturing, very stable in energy here. Um, you know your self-worth, there's balance, you're very ambitious here. Um, when the Ace of Cups talks about love, could be new love or it could be any type of love, it doesn't matter. But this, uh, it's about, uh, for me, the Ace of Cups represents abundance and being grateful in everything that you have. Um, but there is love here, okay, definitely. Okay, a lot of celebrations taking place. In the Six of Swords, you're going through a transition. There could be someone coming through, like traveling towards you as well. As well. Yes, I do see that. Um, restoration, especially if there was conflict in a, in a situation here. I really see a lot of harmony around this. Okay, harmony. And the conflict, like I said, obstacles that you overcame in the situation. I see restoration solid peaceful peacefulness um some of you might be relocating or moving or it could be that's that type of energy but it's usually it's a transition there is there's love there's uh, new could be something new coming towards you uh it could be while you're vaca vacationing or someone has to relocate or move here but whatever it is here it's beautiful it's a beautiful transition that's taking place okay Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles. Two of Swords, Eight of Cups, Tower. Wow. What the? Okay, Three of Wands again underneath. Tower's coming in to clear. That's a, definitely. Someone here might be walking away from a situation. They're in their head about it. Or probably walking away for things that don't serve them any longer. But with the two of swords, someone here has to make a decision. And they're not making their decision about... Because I feel someone here is nurturing themselves okay whatever the case here okay is that yes the eight of cups is showing up of someone walking away there could be yes but i feel more that someone is in their head about something they're in their head about it they have to make a decision are they going to be walking away what would this tower cause your manifestations are right around the corner let's you've been waiting for something so let, i want to take extra cards for this okay Let's look at the tower. What is the tower coming in? What, what is it doing here, the tower? What is it coming in to bring for Pisces? Seven of Wands, okay. Give me a card for the Two of Swords, please, Spirit. Let's get clear about this. Four of Swords, okay, yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. The Empress, someone here is nurturing themselves. Uh, definitely, someone here is taking time out. They're reevaluating something here. Okay, but someone here is taking time out to heal their body, mind, and spirit and to come into clarity. So they've been isolated, okay, in this healing. Um, 
with the Empress energy, this is about creativity, fertility, it's about new opportunities. It's about the Empress. It's all about self-love, right? Someone here has been in a lot of pain and they've been in a lot of anguish and pain in, in this situation here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me look at this Eight of Cups. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Someone must have walked away and caused some type of change here. There is a wish that's being granted here. Oops. There's a wish that's being granted with the star card. What is this Eight of Cups about? The Magician, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups. There's someone of the past here. Oh boy. There's someone of the past that was very... Um, okay. There was someone of the past, definitely someone of the past here. That some, maybe you walked away from a collaboration or a group of people for some of you. Or someone here, someone here is manifesting this two of uh, the, this two of cups, Aquarius energy, and this wish that has to be granted. It's about hope and having hope and faith and manifesting whatever this this two of cups. Someone here must have walked away, definitely, and caused a tower moment for someone. Okay, but you, you overcame it with the seven of wands because these energies you you rose above that. All right. Someone was definitely nurturing themselves. I feel you here, Pisces, that you... I feel that, Pisces, whatever the situation here, you're trying to manifest something here for yourself to come in. And it's not far off, but there is someone from your past. There is someone here that walked away from you or vice versa. I don't know. I don't know your situation here, but definitely something took place. Well, it was a heavy energy. I felt it to the core. Yes. God is confirming that with me. Okay. Um, let's look at this Three of Wands and what's crossing you. Because so... Is it possible because there was delays or challenges in the situation or uh, that there was uh, no, no someone not taking action? Let's see. Or someone not a creative block. Let's see because we need to see all whatever this is here. The Chariot, Cancerian, King of Swords, Nine of Cups. There's a wish fulfillment here. Someone's taking their power back and moving forward. They see everything very clearly, but they don't judge in that way with the King of Swords. You know, you have all four, su three suitors here. The only thing you're missing right now is the fire. And there is a wish fulfillment. There is good news here. There's traveling indicated. There is someone moving towards you or vice versa. You're moving towards something here. There will be traveling involved. It feels like some of you made up your mind about the situation. So there is a wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're in the hangman position. There's been a sacrifice here. You've been in limbo. Something has been stagnant for a long time. And someone, I think, wanted to rock the boat. Because that's the message I'm getting. Someone wanted to rock the boat, okay? Let's look at this. King of Cups here. A lot of changes here. A lot of fives on the ground. One, two, three. I already have three. Three fives here. Okay, a lot of two, two twos. Okay, why is this King of Cups here? Ace of Coins, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Cups. Yeah, there's an offering. There's an unexpected message coming in here. Okay, um, very fierce. There's uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, it, it, it feels tangible. It could be something new too. Huh? This could be something old or something new because at this point, um, yeah, it could be either or, okay? You take what, what resonates with you, especially for the single people. If you've been single for a while, there's someone new coming in, 100%. But they don't live around you. They have to, they have to travel to get to you, okay? Uh, for others of you, this is someone that's uh, coming in with a message here, very clear message. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're coming in. 
there's a lot of messages here there's a new beginning that someone here is taking leadership it's it took a lot of strength for this person here there's a lot of messages coming in okay so there is a message coming in here for you that's bringing you so, so or there's a message that's coming in in part of your creativity that's bringing you some money high or some success or some money that's coming in or there's someone in coming in with some type of prospect here but they're coming in as knights but in reality they're not a knight they are a king or it could be vice versa a queen okay give me another card for the knight of wands and knight of swords please there is communication coming in and they're bringing in prosperity the wheel of fortune yeah jupiter is coming in this is faded this has to come your way it's faded it's luck it's destiny the hermit someone has been taking time out to to heal to reflect to um to heal to reflect to contemplate to meditate to go deeper this is a solo journey yeah definitely someone was probably going through like a metamorphosis or they were in limbo and stagnation um they could have been going through like the shadow self healing the shadow self it's all in divine timing with the page of wands yeah someone was coming in very slowly they're coming in as a knight of pentacles the knight of wands the knight of swords but they're actually a king or a queen like i said they're planning they're, this is of someone that's been future planning and there's been a lot of pain around this so you know in the situation so something is coming in divine timing for you Let's look at this five of wands reversed here because there is a compromise here and a relief from some type of conflict and um overcoming um obstacles and there will and there is harmony here so let's let's go back into this with the five of wands reversed six of wands beautiful nine of pentacles six of coins yeah let's say someone let's say i don't know whatever this is whatever your situation because i don't know what your situation is pisces if this has to do with work love family or whatever or your environment or the world at large there is success in overcoming something here okay that was that was very difficult and there's going to be victory and success and being recognized a lot of you had ended up solo so working on yourselves there's financial security being independent and with the six of pentacles six of pentacles it feels like something is coming into balance again Okay, that whatever you give is gonna you're gonna be receiving, so it's gonna be equal. Okay, and with the seven of swords and energy underneath here, is that a lot of you kept quiet? Okay, there's a tendency sometimes, um, you know, the seven of swords sometimes deflects. Yes, it depends the cards that are surrounding it, but like the way I see it here, it's not uh, deception in a bad way. It feels more that someone had to uh, there was a confession to make about everything. Uh, there was a lot of pain someone was carrying and releasing this pain not able to communicate or having a breakthrough in communication but someone here is coming in with the ten of pentacles and the sun card okay someone here is coming in with a confession because yeah you've been whoever this person is has been in limbo okay let's look at the queen of swords all the the only thing i don't have here is the kings of uh, the king and the queen of, of wands so let's look at the queen of swords i don't even know if this makes sense because i don't even know if it's making sense well i hope it's making sense to you but uh, yeah anyway <laughs> so oh, i have the hiccups oh, what i'm sorry about that that's the first time that happens excuse me okay <laughs> let's look at the queen of swords the devil the world the three of coins so you could be dealing with a capricorn there was tramp in a situation in the past where maybe there could have been some type of someone not playing by the rules or just like there could have been a lot of like um, decisions that were made Le leaving something behind that is not for your highest good but there's triumph with this five of swords there's a new beginning justice is here for you karmic justice is here pisces but something here was not it's not what it seems there was a lot of fear around this someone is following their heart there's a completion you're going full circle here from le learned lessons with the queen of swords and energy okay you're like the queen of swords right now all right you're clear you're focused you know exactly what you want you discern of course you're impartially discerned okay you know how to communicate 
there's stability here you're going to the next level congratulations there could be that some of you are releasing something that you were gripped or gripped or someone was gripped on or maybe this is about shadow, shadow work that you have to do and uh, in 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 the Saturn energy uh, you know because uh, yeah definitely uh, what you were bonded to uh, or uh, if there was uh, addictions or unhealthy relationships or whatever this is for you you're heading into uh, some type of strong foundation here or collaboration working together with the three of Pentacles okay let's look at the I want to take an extra card here for because I do see traveling indicated by car, by boat, by plane, but I do see traveling indicated. Even though there's someone, if there would be someone new here for you, okay? Now, I'm not talking about the singles. I'm talking about those of you that maybe walked away or something. someone walked away. Even though it feels like everything is like going towards the newness, I do feel someone going backwards to someone. I don't know, but this is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, let's look at the... Give me another card for the devil. I know someone is cooking here. Because I... I think someone is cooking breakfast. And you guys are getting me hungry. Okay. I'm just... Who's cooking breakfast? Eggs? Bacon? I don't know. <laughs> the Ten of Coins. Yeah, Saturn is bringing this. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Coins. Fruit of Life. There's stability here. There's a legacy. This could be buying a home. Buying an estate. The sun is shining on this. Okay. Let's look at the world. One more card for the world. I am extending your reading a bit more because you're last but not least. And I always want to give a bit more to you, Pisces, because you wait for your readings for a long time. Let's look at the world. The Queen of Swords. It came in twice. Yes, the Queen of Swords. There you are. And let's look at the Three of Pentacles. The King of Wands. Yeah, there is the King of Wands. Took a lot of strength. It's also a sense that you need to be vulnerable. Someone who needs to be more vulnerable. You have to open that heart and release everything that no longer serves you. People, patterns, or situations. There is stability in this thing. And I do see someone from the past year that it could bring you that happiness, that soulmate. But you've been tested over and over again. The King of Wands is about... There's a bigger percept there's a bigger perspective with the king of wands and energy. They're leaders, they're natural born leaders. This is a natural born leader. And this is about taking action. That's what it is. It's about taking action. So there's a bigger purpose in this situation. And someone's going for it. Whatever this is. Let's look at the page of wands, because you did get that twice in your reading in divine timing. So let's look at this. In the immediate future page of wands page of pentacles judgment ten of swords the five of cups yeah there's an end of a chapter there's a completion that you did here of course you're gonna feel out of it of course you still have to release and heal it's only normal because in the advice you got that you need to heal there's a healing maybe with two people two situations here and a judgment. This is like a spiritual awakening. A sp it's like an epiphany. Okay. Revelations that are going to take place here. Okay. There is with the page of pentacles in divine timing. It could be someone apologizing or if it's not that, it, it, there's a new opportunity that's presenting your, it, itself here. Okay. And as you're releasing, you got the lovers here underneath. So there's a decision to be made. You need to trust your intuition. There will be a breakthrough. There will be a breakthrough. Communication a vision okay and whatever it is that you've been working on that's coming for some of you this is marriage I see marriage here let's look at this like just take give me another card for the ten of swords please and the judgment Queen of Wands <clears throat> all the kings and queens are here divine feminine divine masculine this could be you and one person or this is there's two individuals here a lot of hard work. <clears throat> someone here has, has been determined. A lot of, someone here has been putting a lot of work within themselves. There's a lot of passion here. Uh, creativity and self-worth. Okay. 
because someone here there's been a lot of obstacles in this situation and there's a completion here so give me another card for the page of pentacles and the page of wands please the seven of cups five of wands the seven of pentacles six of cups someone's going back and forth in the decision healing is someone's going back and forth in the decision here okay there's someone that's going back and forth there could still be conflict yes there could still be conflict or competition or drama around the situation there's so many options and it's okay to dream big but there's still confusion and the confusion is that someone is unclear of what the role does not okay it's not like okay i'm uh you know i'm gonna be entering the situation but i can't see in front of me i don't know where i'm going I understand that. That's why someone here is reevaluating everything. Someone here is reevaluating everything. There's a judgment that has to be done here. Okay, and this is someone from your past or past life. It's there's a lot of energy of reminiscing, memories, shared moments. Okay, I do see a healing that's going to take place. But like I said, a lot of you are going back and forth in the decision, or someone here is going back and forth. But things are going to shift very quickly with the Eight of Wands. That just popped out. The Two of Wands. There's a lot of healing that has to be taking place here between two, two individuals or in the situation. Because there is two paths to take. Okay. Being at crossroads. There will be fruition in, the, in this situation. There will be, yes. But it's going to take time. This is about long-term plan. And there's healing. Definitely there is healing. But something is being realigned. There's going to be a lot of communication taking place. I see also travel taking place. This could be in eight days from now or eight weeks, more or less. A lot of messages coming in, okay? What's the conclusion to this? You know, I, I want to just, what is the conclusion to this for Pisces? What's the conclusion to this part for, for Pisces? Five of Swords. There's triumph over a situation. Hierophant. It's about taking the higher road. There's marriage down the line to this. There's something that someone's not understanding here. Or there's just conflict within a person. Because I do feel that... What I feel here is that healing is required on both ends. Okay? And there is triumph over a situation. Seeing the truth. A breakthrough communication clear truthfulness right from wrong it's slow moving it's about taking the higher road there is a new beginning justice is here Pisces you're here or you're dealing with that Pisces someone's following their heart someone's following their heart the truth will be told and something is going to come into balance. Okay. And who you are here and how you're feeling. You're feeling abundant. You're feeling security. There's change coming. There's there's definitely prosperity. and Feeling prosperous here. There is love here. There is stability. Okay, let's look at this King of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Four of Wands, King of Cups, the Lovers. There's a decision to be made. Choices. Someone has to follow their intuition. You will see through a vision, through your dreams, that who is this person for you, and you're going to follow it through. Though you're releasing at this time, there's been a lot of hurt with the Five of Cups. Uh, yeah. Releasing resentment, hurt, guilt in the situation. There is stability here. Whatever that you thought or it was broken or there was a completion here, especially for those that have been with someone or known someone for a while here, I do see like December of 2022, uh, October, December, yeah, November, December of 2022. There's someone here that is very willing to uh, give. They're, stabil they're stable. Of course, they're not open like the Queen of Cups in energy, but... You know, they're, they're a bit more aloof in energy, but uh, this is someone that uh, is grounded and is emotionally available and they value family. And there is going to be some type of proposal, maybe for some of you, there could be marriage or celebration or someone returning home. But there's a lot of pain. 
but there will be less interference, okay? Let's look at what's hidden from you, the nine of, of, of wands. Or there's, you were being tested, okay? It was a lot of testing. You're very tired, you're exhausted, but you had the courage and resilience to move forward. Okay, so it's a completion that's taking place and you're gonna attain your goal. This is what it's telling me. So let's look at the nine of wands. The lovers, the sun, the seven of swords, the nine of wands, both parties, the ten of cups, yeah. It's about trusting your intuition. You're gonna get clear, clear vision, dream. You're gonna see the truth. There's a breakthrough here. Okay. Both parties have been tested and both persevered. There's, a, like I said, the single ones, there's someone new for sure. If you've been single for a while and you've just been dating, there's someone here that's for you. But for those of you that this is a spiritual connection or some type of connection that maybe there was a distance and you couldn't understand or whatever this means for you. There was both, both, you see you got 99, 999 and you got a lot of nines on the ground too okay so a lot of completions you were going through a, um you know um yeah someone here has been uh, in limbo there's been a sacrifice trying to see the whole picture someone was also going through the dark night the dark night of the soul it probably still is okay because they're coming home with pain Someone here with the Seven of Swords is bringing in the truth. There will be a confession. Now, normally when I see the Seven of Swords and it's accompanied by bad cards around, then I would say, okay, be careful. But I'm not seeing it that way. Someone here is coming in and uh, lay down the foundations and uh, wants, wants to confess and uh, uh, communicate uh, what they were going through. Uh, a lot of pain. They released pain from the past here but they were still carrying a lot with them and didn't know how to communicate it, but they're going to be communicating. And yes, and with the lover's card, this is divine feminine, divine masculine coming in here with the sun card. It's about positivity, vitality, creativity. It's in the Ten of Cups talks about content, being contented, being happy here, whatever, whoever this is for you. Okay. And uh, there's a sense of a soulmate energy or just like, just being grateful and happy. There's definitely a, you know that is uh, definitely what's not being seen in your advice it's about it's about you remaining patient both parties if that's possible um it's about finding your purpose it's about balance and connection connecting with your guides harmony um alchemy communication be patient only time will tell Right, that's part of your card. So let's look at if there's anything else for the temperance. Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, temperance twice. Wow, you guys have strong Sagittarius energies, or you're dealing with a Sag, or this is like the advice on both parties. Healing has to be done. Both of you while they're healing each other, helping each other here. The Three of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of like feeling abandoned, ghosted in the dark. There could have been financial loss here. But I do see the Queen of Cups coming in, wanting to help, wanting to give here. Very intuitive and energy. The Three of Swords. There's heart, there's, there's, there's pain here. The Two of Wands. There's two paths to take here, depending what path you want to take. There's decisions to be made. Three of Wands shows up again in your reading. Your manifestations are right around the corner. I do see expansion. I see, uh, you know, a success and victory or uh, could be uh, something overseas. I don't know why, but strongly I feel that there's someone from a distance from you. There's someone from a distance from you. Someone is following their heart. There will be an invitation coming in um, or an arrival. Here you show up in your reading, Pisces. Fear is just an illusion. Justice is here. The truth is coming in. Balance is coming in. Seeing past illusions. Trusting your intuition. There will be fairness. There's a new beginning. 
for you. It took you a lot of strength and courage. It took everything from you. In the new moon and Leo, Leo energy. It's time. It's your turn to shine here. So be patient. Be patient. There's still healing to be done. If it's two parties coming together, both parties have to heal each other. And they will be healed. But the truth will be revealed. And I do see beautiful... I see the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. I see justice, the fool. Something is coming into balance. I see love, marriage. I see everything. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy your reading. And now let's look at, um, I'm going to take out a few extra cards to purge out the rest of the reading, like I did for the other signs. I will do for you. So let's start with uh, these cards here. I feel very strong there's a twin flame here, and I usually don't like to mention twin flame, so I won't use that word because it's overrated. The God used too much in the spiritual community, but let's put it the divine feminine and divine masculine coming in there is a divine masculine and divine feminine coming in definitely Pisces. Are there any more messages for Pisces? Okay. Separation. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon, or if it already have ha maybe already happened. There's also retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You deserve love. You are lovable. Healing family issues. Your life, life benefits as you forgive your parents and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Underneath you have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. Now we're going to take out these cards here. This is for uh, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. This could talk about karmic ties, union, telepathic messages, mirrors or love messages or it's a, or growth messages another time there we go Karmic ties. I'm not happy. Karma, behaviors, people, or situation is playing a role in what's happening with me and it's hard for me to see a way out. So that's how some of you are feeling. That's the number one energy. Let's look at the rest. Okay. Again, number one, 11. Here we got number 11. Um, messages of trust. I'm listening to my higher self now. A higher power is guiding me. Let's see what else there is. Number two. Is there another number two? Oh. Number two. Um, telepathic messages. There are messages being exchanged through music and movies. Listen carefully and trust what you hear. Number five. Telepathic messages again. I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. Number six. Mirrors. 
the situation is being caused by both of us. Look at your own role in the situation to help us change it. You got again number six, number 66, communication. Please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. Oh, you got another six. Karmic ties, you got 666. I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I'm creating a plan to leave him or her. Number seven, telepathic message. One of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in frequency with the other. Stay conscious of this and if possible, try to help us elevate it. Number nine, telepathic messages. Sometimes I feel like you're speaking to me in my head. At times it triggers me because I wonder how much you can see into me. Nine, again, karmic ties. We have, uh, we have a past life connection. Some of you were married in a, in, uh, you were married definitely in a past life. Memories are, uh, are uh, re uh, surfacing either consciously or subconsciously. And you have 1111 11, plus you have 11. So um, timing and intentions, 11. The next solstice or equinox will bring an important shift for us. And number 11 here for telepathic messages. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. It feels so real. I'm beginning to understand this and what it means to be in 5D with you. Let's look at the evolution to see if there's any extra cards to give you. Three shuffles. Silent treatment. Someone here could be uh, acting a bit immature, maybe. Uh, there could be passive aggressive or guilt for past actions. Maybe someone here is feeling guilty for past actions or not acknowledging their fault. There's also perseverance, not to give up. Okay. The finish line, the finish line is close. Nothing in life worth worth having comes easy and mind over matter. Or anything else oh yeah <clears throat> and singlehood enjoying freedom and liberation not ready for commitment and mar or married life working on self-growth and improvement securing financial wealth and independence lessons trial and error doing the inner or shadow work taking time self-reflect and go within and getting closer to your soul purpose closed off emotionally unavailable or avoidant nothing not not willing to express heartfelt feelings maybe heart chakra needs healing and past trauma or major love blockage and underneath you have judgment okay so finally this so again the final this there is a final decision to be made here you're weighing your options you're choosing the best the, the best path forward and taking charge and picking a this a, this a direction okay so taking charge and picking a direction all right and now last but not least we'll take out the hidden truth oracle to see what messages are coming for you pisces get mad <laughs> the cards like <laughs> you're coming in with a stump okay <laughs> i'm giving them the messages <laughs> okay anything else for pisces before i close out the cards okay perfect uh underneath you have i am grateful for the uh for the spiritual lesson okay let's see what else is there for you where are the messages coming in what is this I also got superficial for this one. I don't know, or did, could it be that, I don't know where this card came from. Superficial. Maybe you were dealing with someone that was superficial, but I don't feel that it's like that anymore. It's because I feel someone that has deep rooted, hidden insecurities. Okay. <clears throat> so 
So I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. I can't stop thinking about you. You speak to me through music. You were the best thing in my life. I wish things could be different. I couldn't let you get close to me. I want to feel that way again. I left when I saw you with someone. I regret, I regret lying to you. I feel you leaving me behind and I hide behind material things. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together we are one, together we are love, and together we are light. Please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.